welcome back to another video. It's officially February in Alaska. Today is a beautiful, beautiful morning. I'm here with my son, and I'm gonna take him to the Aviation Museum. Um, he likes seeing airplanes whenever their planes are flying across on top of our place. <coughs> he loves seeing the small airplanes, the big airplanes, uh, the military airplanes. So I figured I'd take him to the Aviation Museum so he can get uh, a close-up of the planes and stuff um, I've been to this museum once but that was for um, film work and uh, I didn't get the time to enjoy it but um, it's located near the airport International Row um, let's go there and take a look and uh, let's see if Lincoln's gonna enjoy it it's a beautiful morning I don't remember what the fee is but um, it's newly per adults kids kids should be free so he should be enjoying it he loved he loves his cars and stuff, but I think he's gonna also love the airplane, the helicopters, and uh, he just likes seeing the, uh, the helicopter blaze because whenever he sees any ceiling fans, he, he just gets so intrigued about those stuff. So I think he's gonna enjoy this. So come along and enjoy today's vlog with us. Long day for the planes to be flying. Aviation Museum. We are here at the Aviation Museum in Anchorage, Alaska, right next to Lake Hood, right next to the International Ted Steven Airport. Lots of hangars. This is the entrance right here. And it doesn't look like there's that many people today, which is perfect because I have my little boy with me and I think he's gonna enjoy it. So let's go inside and take a look. Lincoln, are you excited? <laughs> He's so excited! Yeah! Let's go! Uh, let's go see the airplane! Alright, we're at the museum. <coughs> it's a big museum. <coughs> Lots of history. Of course, we're not here to learn history today. We're here just to sightsee. See? Come on, baby. Come on, there's more over here. Look, inside here. Whoa, inside here. Come on. Come on. Whoa, see the airplane. Look, the kids section over here. They have all sorts of nice plays. <clears throat> now this museum is pretty big. It's like a like three different buildings that you go through. It has lots of old, old planes. Whoa, come on, yeah. You like it? Look at the machine. Beautiful, beautiful museum museum here. I feel like this is like one of those Transformers movie where like the Autobots, one of these planes is like an Autobot. They're alive and watching you. Oh, whoa, 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 what is this? This is the motor, the engine, wow. <coughs> this is pretty awesome for me to see too. First time seeing these big old engines, so that, so that's the cylinders all connected together to a crossover pipe. Wheel, uh-huh. Whoa, Lincoln, look at that. This is the spinner, the propeller. Mm hmm Wow, look at these engines. Pratt and Whitney Hornet. What is this? That's what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten cylinders or something like that, I'm assuming. Sorry if I don't know anything about aviation. This is not my field work. Wow, what do you like? Come on, there's a kid section over here. Come on, there's a kid section over here. Look. Over here, baby. Look, kids section. Whoa. Lots of uh, Alaska Airlines in here too. <laughs> yeah, airplane. Wow, so much stuff in here. Look at that, wow, baby. Mm, did I take a picture of you? Mm, come on here, come on here. They have a little kids section here for the kids to kind of like play in. And then maybe like a little waiting area right here for the kids. So really nice for the kiddos here. You see it? You like it? Wow, oh, that's the airplane. You come sit right here, baby. Come sit down right here. And then you drive the airplane right here. Wow. Sit down here. Uh-huh. Pretty nice. All right, let's go check out the other rooms. Bristol Bay, Dillingham Air Service. It's crazy how big one of these planes are once you get right next to it. 
And look at all the metal work here. It's all riveted up and stuff. Real, really nice. Crazy how the human have invented the airplane here. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're gonna go to the next room, but he wants me to go first. <coughs> These are all the ski, ski shoes. Look at that. These hangers are nice. So much artwork. Mm. Big airplane. Whoa, 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 whoa. This is a big one. I'm assuming they must have retired these um, airplanes right here. They must have retired them or something in the case because they look like in really good condition. Mm hmm. You can see it's dripping some oil or something. Yeah, they must have retired these things, but. Big wheels. All you like is the wheels, huh? You have to like the airplane, the the, the propeller shaft. Some old photos right here. Mm -hmm. This is a little nice little theater they have in here. A little video going on. With some nice seats. Jump down, careful. Jump, jump. Daddy, hold you. Okay. Let's go this way. Very, really, very really nice. Here's the Morse code. Daddy's over here. Good job. Sorry for the low light, guys. It's kind of low light in here, causing the video to blur here and there. Mm -hmm. Some of the pilot's outfit. <coughs> some really nice artifacts. These are some of the tools. Look at that. Simple tools. Yeah, whoa, what is this right here? Mm -hmm. Over here, baby, look at this canyon. This is a canyon right here. Uh -huh. A Japanese mountain gun. Photographs was taken by George in 1943. Interesting stuff. So aviation was used for a service. Transportation and war. Use for all sorts of stuff. Okay, I think so. I think this is the end of the building. She told us that we're, we're supposed to go outside and go into another building. So I gotta figure out which way is that way to get out. Oh, I think it's over here. Mm hmm. Hey, let's go. Mm -hmm. See airplane outside there. You see those big one? There's some planes outside too, but it's kind of cold right now to be cruising around outside. Whoa! You see that wheel, huh? Oh yeah, you see the wheels, huh? All right, so we just left the main building and now we're going to the Odom hangar, which is the other one. And this is hangar, I've been to this hangar before. We have some nice stuff in there as well. Yeah, this one has more, come on. Okay, go, go, cone. Let's go, baby. Okay, let's go. Go inside. Whoa. Wow. More in here. Look at that. This is a nice hangar. See this? More airplane. A couple years ago, we did a Porsche video where uh, the Porsche dealership, they released some of their vehicles. Two different models in here, but that's very nice. Wow. Which one do you like, baby? Oh, watch your back, watch your back. Red. Red airplane. <coughs> it's 
So our admission was, uh, my child's admission was free for him being over two, only two. And then I think, I think for me, it was only 1750 for me. Yeah, 1750, so really good for adult fare. And it's really nice because we're the only one here, really. Uh, it is a a morning after morning weekday, so there's not that many people. We're literally the only visitors. Everyone else in the parking lot is just uh, employees of the museum. <laughs> you like it? <laughs> you like it, huh? It's so big. I wish they could make us. I wish there was one that's open where we can go inside. I'm surprised they don't have anything open. All these are enclosed, but they're really nice. That's crazy that this hangar can support that the weight of that aircraft up there. Whoa, look at this, so big, huh? Wow. If you guys don't know, uh, in Alaska, there are a lot of pilots in Alaska. Owning a plane is like the ultimate you know, the ultimate dream is to live in Alaska. If you live in Alaska and you own a plane, man, you pretty much got the good life. That's the good life. <clears throat> they got some of the engines over here. Here are some of the engines over here. <laughs> oh, wow. This is crazy. Look at the valve cover. Valve cover just pretty much disintegrate it it's crazy to see how engine compared to like you know i work on car engines my toyotas and it's crazy to see how their motors are their engine they're like a circular pattern that's nice so i'm assuming these are the cylinder heads and then they push the piston which dry that drives that shaft and that's what spins the propeller so it's always interesting to see how that is i wonder how much they weigh Whoa, you having fun? Whoa, this is the big bus. <laughs> That's the big bus. Whoa. So if you guys have never been to the aviation museum and you guys have kids <coughs> or you just have an interest in air aviation airplanes, this is a great place to get up close, man. I'm really blessed that we have a place like this in Anchorage, you know, where they showcase some of these beautiful machineries. Uh, and it's available to the public. You know, you have this museum and then you also have the yearly um, air show on the military base, which is also nice. But, you know, that's like raw action. But if you want just something nice and chill and just want to come out and check out some of these old school planes, this is the place. I just wish one of these planes had a cockpit open where you can go inside and just check it out. But looks like they don't have it. Wheel. Look at that. Wow. So much pretty, huh? You just like the wheels, huh? You don't like the airplane? Wheels! Mm -hmm. <laughs> and it's also crazy how the wheels are designed. They're not like your typical car tire. They're pretty much like slicks. And I guess that's how it is, because you know, you see how, how these tires are? They're pretty much like slicks. <clears throat> this is a hard rubber tire. It's crazy how they build this frame too. This is like just basically half inch pipe. But you build a structure together and you get this amazing piece. Whoa, this one's big, baby. Look at that one. Oh, this is really thin. This is almost like tin foil. This is like a wrap. This is not even real construction right here. That's crazy. Mm-hmm. Here's the inside of this right here. I don't think this is open, but... Look at that, it just fits one person and maybe some cargo. <laughs> and then you have all your... Wow, so pretty, huh? Look, you look, what's right here? There's another wheel. A wheel. A these wheel. are some hard wheel. rubber. I wonder if these are solid tires or air. They look like they're solid to prevent a blowout. This is a 1944 cruise speed, 165, has a range of 815 miles. That's not bad at all. And a uh, useful load, 1366. Stingsome V77. Mm -hmm. So 
so much history around here. Like I said, I have, I have my kid here, so I'm not even here to read all the history, but if you guys have the time, you can read all these articles and stuff. Oh, stay right there, Dad. Take a picture. Hold on. All right, so we have one more room to go to. This hangar here, and I believe that hangar. So we're gonna go to that one. And then after that one, um, she said that we can actually go towards that fence right there and go up to that tower and check that tower out. And you can actually hear the live feed of Lake Hood when they're traveling. But she said today's might be a slow day for traffic on the Lake Hood. Now Lake Hood is for the smaller planes, not for the commercial planes. So we're gonna go check that out. Cone. <laughs> Come here. Come here, baby. Come here, sweetheart. Ooh, fighter jet. Oh here. Over here, baby. No, no, no. Don't go that way. <coughs> Under the big belly of this uh commercial plane. Over here, baby. Oh, we can go back inside, I think. Airplane. This is a Boeing 737. Big Boeing 37. Uh-huh. Whoa. Cone. Orange. What color is that, orange? And I think this gets us back inside the entrance. So we'll go back this way. Oh, it's locked. Locked. We'll go the other way. So that one building wasn't open, so we're gonna go check out this uh, tower cab over here. And this over here has a little bit of some cool history. Keep us inside. And the main building that we started from is right here. So everything is within close uh, proximity. Open the doors, knock, knock. Daddy, open door. Step back. Oh, look at that. Oh, we can hear them. Go up. Hi. Top of the tower cab, we have a nice 360 view of the Lake Hood. Also, the parking lot that we parked at right here. And that's a real... That's a real live air traffic right there that we're hearing. Come on here, baby. This is nice because you can come up here and just have your coffee or something. <coughs> really nice. And like she said, in the summertime, it's really nice because you can go, <coughs> sometimes you come check out in the planes. And this has a live, uh, this right here is a live radar of all the flight planes. That's pretty awesome. So we're right here. And it looks like there's one that's coming in right now from somewhere over here. That's pretty awesome. Oh, this is a very nice uh, map too as well. So these are all the commercial planes right here. Actually, yeah, we're right here. And this is all the commercial plane. That's pretty awesome. This is pretty sweet. What do you think, baby? He's just intrigued by that fan. Getting hypnotized by it, huh? Pretty awesome. This is Gull Island. So this is the part of the runway. East. east. Well, guys, we're going to end this vlog here. I hope you guys enjoy a Father-Son's Day out at the Aviation Museum. We had a little great tour. We might go back into the main building, check out some of their gift shops, maybe get him a little airplane toy to add on to all his car collection toy. But we hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. We had a great time here. Saw a lot of airplane, huh? Airplane. And had a lot of fun here. So we'll catch you guys next time. Much love. Bye-bye. Say bye-bye. Bye-bye.